Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Liliane Desiel and today I'm going to show you how to customize a basic block bodice. For today's example, I'm using real measurement that someone sent me. She did bought my grading ruler, but in that case, I think it's more a pattern modification than a grading. So I will show you why and how to customize a basic standard block to your size. Today I'm starting from my basic block size 10 and this block has a bust measurement all around of 36 inches and 5 8 and the waist measurement is 27 inches. Now the measurement the person need is 36 inches for the bust measurement and 36 inches for the waist. So if we look at both measurements and we find the difference, we see that my block has a 5 8 extra at the bust level. So on one quarter of the pattern piece, it would be one quarter of 5 8, so 3 16 to remove. While at the waist, from 27 inches to 36 inches, I need to enlarge 9 inches. Now look at the person measurement. She has the waist the same size as the bust. So for sure, the person is not going to need dart to adjust the waist in the front or in the back. So I measure my dart one inch and a half and one inch and one eighth. On half a garment, I gain two inch and five eight. Two and five eight is only a half garment. An extra measurement of five and a quarter inches. So instead of having a difference of nine inches, I now have a difference of three inches and three quarter. Now remember that this is the measurement that I needed all around. Now if I divide this measurement by four, so I could do it on each quarter of the garment, I get just a little less than seven eight of an inch. Now let's start with the bust where I should reduce 3 16 on each quarter. You could decide to move your underarm point, but if you do move your underarm point, this is also going to change the measurement of the armhole and the sleeve. And in that case, I would leave the sleeve as it is because most probably the arm is also a little more round. So here's the way I would reduce the 316 at the bust level. I would trace a line top to the bottom, passing by the pivot of the original dart, even if we don't have it anymore. This line should be traced parallel to your center front or back. And then I would trace another one towards the side seam with the 316 that I need to remove. Then fold on the first line, then bring the first over to the second one, then glue the pattern right there. Now let's do the same thing on the front. So you trace your line parallel to the front, passing by the pivot of the dart, then a second one, 316 further, fold on the first line, bring the first one over to the second one, and just glue it in position. Now that the bust is the right measurement, we just have to finish the correction with the waist measurement. So the difference we have after we cancel both dart was three inches and three quarter. I divide that by four. So I could add one quarter of the difference on each quarter of the garment. So let's start with the front. Nothing at the underarm. I'm going to add seven eight of an inch at the side seam. Same thing for the back, nothing at the underarm and seven eight at the side seam. Now remember we don't have dart anymore so you could just 
make your waistline straight from the center back to the side seam and the same thing in the front straight from the center front all the way to the side seam maybe you notice that there's still a little angle for the waist and it's normal like that because you have more ease at the bust level than you have at the waist now the last little correction you will have to do is fix your shoulder line and to do the correction i will start with my back you could just fix the line from the neck point to the first side of the shoulder and in the front the same thing so from the neck and shoulder point to the side of the dart finally in the front you're going to need to get your original pivot so you could just extend both sides of the dart and that's going to give you your new pivot now i just retraced my new block with the measurement of that person and i want to show you how to put some of the shoulder dart back at the waist just trace a line from your waistline to the pivot then you're going to cut on two lines from the waist to the pivot and on one side of your shoulder dart so let's say this one here from the shoulder to the pivot once it's cut just take the side piece and close whatever you want from the shoulder dart here i'm going to distribute evenly so keep half on the shoulder and half at the waist so now you could have a block that looks just the same like the one we start with but with the right measurement. Thanks for watching. I see you next time.